Hello YouTube, I'm Gradimo, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. Alright, so, um, last episode, we went and we fought Alduin on the throat of the world, like way up there. And uh, the result of that was we discovered that he is essentially immortal, because he's the first son of Akatosh. So, therefore... To defeat him, we need to, we're, we're going to ask another dragon. But to do that, we need to utilize the dragon capturing abilities of Dragon's Reach. And to do that, we need to create a peace between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials. Now, however temporary that may be, we still need to do it. So therefore, we are going to talk to Arngear about uh, hosting a, uh, a summit here at High Hrothgar, where people have been unwelcome for many, many years. So, we are going to... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? He's outside again. Okay, so we're going to go talk to Arn here, and uh, with any luck, he'll basically say yes without any strings attached. Which I'm, I'm really, I'm really, really hoping for. Hello! Alduin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Yeah, kind of no, yes, but he escaped. I need to find this portal, to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the dragonborn? is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Once again, not quite what I'm asking. Your old Balgruff won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. All right, here we go. Uh, I assume he's ready if I if he sent me to go speak to them. Okay, I need to go speak to Ulfric Stormcloak and General Tullius. Okay, so we're gonna go wake up General Tullius, it seems, and tell him that the Grey Beards wish to speak with him. And if he does not submit. Then there's absolutely nothing we can do because I'm not going to slay a general of the Imperial Army. While his army is already in Skyrim, pretty well at Skyrim's doorstep. No, wait, no, pretty well. It is in uh, on Skyrim's doorstep. No, 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 it is inside Skyrim. There we go. It's been a long adventure. Okay, uh, da 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 da. Being old's not so bad. Daughter huh. keeps me fed. My working days are done. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't I'm matter how many times you ask. Okay. Mind yourself in my city, friend. This here axe in full swing is a right terrible sight. That's good for you. Oh, whoa. Been tending your hounds? You smell like a wet dog. I have been. Heard what you did. Not tending my Killing hands. those five I'm a That's, That's right. I'm a werewolf. Hard like white mane has been laid to rest. I know. May his soul live forever in the halls of Sovereign God. Ooh, thank you, Captain. All it's right. Arama, you I'm need. telling you. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I believe we've already met. Have we? Balance, oh, see, balance, see, balance, see. of course. You were at Helgen, one of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Don't get too far ahead. 
I helped Hadvar escape. He said he'd vouch for me. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Oh, yeah. He'd terrible speak with Legged misunderstanding. Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at High Hrothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We don't need a truce. We need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. I'll be the Idiot. judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Alright, how about this? I have something I need. You're so you have something I technically need, which is Jarl Balgruff's complete trust and total support. And the only way you're truly going to have that is if you go to this peace treaty. The best time to negotiate is from a position of strength. Fair enough. We're driving the storm cloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. You'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. All right. Not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support. Keep your mouth shut, like it, Ricka. We need this. You, you're the harbinger of the companions. It is my honor to stand before you. Pleasure. Okay. And now we need to go to the Winterhold, to the Palace of the Kings, and we need to speak to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak himself. For like the uh, second time, I think. I don't know. Normally, when I'm speaking to Jarl Ulfric for like the first time, truly outside of the uh, um, the 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 opening intro quest pain in the ass portion of the game, it's normally to say, "Hey, so here's here here's uh." Here's your old Bogruff's axe. Oh, you don't want it? Okay, when I come back, you'll be dead. And then normally by that time, I I kill him. Hi, Sunshine. I remember you. You were at Helgen with us. Come to join the war. Speak with Garmar. He handles the new recruits. That's not why I'm here. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Garmar. What does bring you to me? I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Politics be damned. Alduin has returned! Alduin? The world eater of song and legend? If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would right. you have me do? If and now, us, I will speak with Arngir. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, 
In these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Ah, put a pipe in it, old man. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They're not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, Arngear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Oh, shit. Where are you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain doing nothing. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse old gradually. <laughs> the matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. <laughs> uh, very well. You may enter. <laughs> so they all just look at each other like, well, you know, the old Esbern has a point. Alright, so Delphine's a bitch. And Arngear, well, Arngear's kind of an ass, but, well, you know. And Esbern, Esbern's just like, you know what? These are matters of the mind. Alrighty. You know what? Whoa. You, uh, a little too much makeup there, lady. Jarl Balgruff the Greater, it is good to see you again, sir! General Tullius, your highness, High Queen of Skyrim, and, uh, oh, wow, that's pretty fancy uh, looking armor you got there. It's even got boobs, wow. And then, of course, you, guy, all Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak. Please. Take your seat Delphine so and Esbern. Okay. And then High and Earth. Our gear is probably right there, so let's do it. Take we will your seat, seat and we can begin. Take my seat and we will begin. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Wow. This is a lot of people. Come on. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos hunter. That didn't take long. Uh, here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. <laughs> Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. Um... What's the harm? Besides, Tullius doesn't really want her here either. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Tullius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Okay, let Tullius have his way on this. He'll have to give ground later. I agree, this will set the tone for the whole negotiation. Elinwen should go. T let Tullius have his way on this. He'll have to give ground later. Okay. So I don't know what this is, and as far as politics go, I suck at politics. I I, I would never make a good uh, good politician. Um, and in fact, for all intents and purposes, I didn't even know how to vote until like a few years ago. 
a few is in like maybe like two or three. Like I, I've only voted three times. I'm 26 years old. <laughs> I've had easily five years before that where I just wasn't voting. Okay, uh, let Tullius have his way on this. He'll have to get, give ground later. Mm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment. That's right, I'm the motherfucking Dragonborn. Sit she your ass so down! Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. Is she supposed to be on our side? You know exactly... No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. Uh oh. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to We're here to resist. arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric. Okay. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. And do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Hear, hear! Who would like to open the negotiations? Okay, let's see. Yes, let's get down to it. Of course. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Sucker! Jarl Elisif! General, oh, this is endless. outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Don't talk Alfred, to your High Queen that you way. You can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely What would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. <laughs> but I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here okay. at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Um... I am a fucking dragonborn! I have the voice of a dragon! Why? I don't fucking know, but it wasn't because of my political skills, you fucking fucktards! How about Riften? Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragon Boy. I came here in good faith. Now it seems you held the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to the Thalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire! Let's go, Garmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Ooh. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Yeah. Go he is arguing about nothing while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? 
Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Aldrin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... Yeah. If he's right about Aldrin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Oh, you remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it mead. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. And you shut up, Galmor. You surrender your march to us and take Idgrad Ravencrone with you. Sorely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. Doubt what my say fairness? The Dragonborn? I'm trying to be neutral, but you all keep asking me! The Empire doesn't need to give up any more territory. Even the Dragonborn betrays Skyrim. These terms are not acceptable. You know that. I'm listening. Don't play dumb, Tullius. Bah, this is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms from this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim at least put the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though, under the circumstances. But once Aldwin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember Evgir Unslan. You should be pleased, Elisif. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's pet yard. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Delmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Oh, um, we're not done Yes, yet. I'm ready to do my part. Say. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. Oh, thank God. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. How does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, 
but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Oda Fing, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Wow, that was so perfectly in sync. Okay. We know about Turns out he's a dragon! Buddy help me. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. About Make your choice, Dragonborn. Next. You're either with us or against us. Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn, and return to his old master. Not fucking likely. Sorry. Bye bye Alright, so, I would just like to state, I'm not a politician, and I fucking hated that, as awesome as it was. And on top of that, Delphine's a fucking bitch. I'm not going to kill Parthenax. Sorry. And, yeah. And also, Ulfric Stormcloak? Seriously? Like, okay, what a whiny little bitch. Stop! Just lie down, just die, because I don't know what's more annoying. Your war, your claim to power, or your whininess. That is all. So, I am going to leave the capturing... Yeah, go fuck yourself, Delphine. Seriously. Fuck you. Okay, so, I'm going to leave the capturing of the dragon for the next video. Thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. If uh, Also, if you want, you can leave me a comment down below in the comment section, and I will see you next time.